Sneaky Maple Syrup. The concept is so simple. Collect the sap from the tree, add heat, drive off the excess water by converting it to steam. When your temperature is seven degrees above where water boils, you've made maple syrup. Pour it into a bottle and watch the sugar sand settle. Welcome to our golden acre. My name is Alicia and I love growing food and being outside with my family. We live on one acre and have five beautiful maple trees on our property. A few years ago, my husband mentioned wanting to make maple syrup and I thought he was crazy. How could five trees possibly produce enough to make it worth our time and effort? It turns out he was right. It was well worth the effort. There is so much to gain. We are starting our fourth season. We get delicious maple syrup, a lot of maple syrup for the amount of land and trees that we have. Last year, we made five gallons of syrup. Okay, so here's our process in kind of just summary. Um, we have a very simple system. We don't have a sugar shack or anything like that. It's time to tap maple trees January, February, when your days are above freezing, your nights are below freezing. That is your ideal temperatures to get a good sap run. Now for our process, our materials we have, we've got five buckets with lids, drill holes in the side to place the food grade tubing to run the sap in. We put the holes in the side of the bucket so that when it rains, um, we don't get rainwater in the bucket. Um, and then we have a few extra buckets that we just use to gather sap. Um, we use a pillowcase inside that bucket that we pour the sap through just to get any debris and that kind of thing out of the sap before we're boiling it. Um, now we have a total of 12 taps in our five trees. The kind of guideline for number of taps, one tap, if your tree is one foot in diameter, that's a tree that gets one tap. If your tree is two feet in diameter, two taps, three or more, feet in diameter, three taps. So we have three trees that get two taps and we've got two trees that get three taps. Um, so when you go to um, tap your maple trees, um, we use a 3 8 inch bit um, drill bit. It may vary depending on the tap that you're using. That's the size we use. Um, we mark with uh, tape about two to two and a half inches from the end of that drill bit because that's the depth that you want on um, the hole that you're drilling. So you place, um, drill your, the hole for the tap, um, pound that tap in. Um, if you are putting these in in the right weather conditions, you're instantly gonna see sap dripping out of that tap, which you're gonna see in the video. Um, now, once you start gathering sap, your ratio of sap to syrup is 40 to one. Meaning if I have 40 quarts of sap, that means that would be eight gallons. Um, that would, no, 10 gallons, miscalculation there, 10 gallons, that would make um, one quart of syrup. If, if I had 40 cups of sap, that would make one cup of syrup. So typically what we find if we've got five gallons of sap, we end up with a pint of syrup. It varies a little bit, but that's the amount of syrup. So you're driving a lot of steam, a lot of water off of that sap to get your syrup down to the concentration that you want. Now we boil it outside. We're lucky enough, we have a greenhouse attached to the house. It's very well ventilated. So we boil, we just have a propane burner and a buffet pan. And because the more surface area you have, the more steam it allows to be released. Um, so we have used just a regular um, pot, but the buffet pan definitely works faster because you have more surface area. So we boil that until it, the level starts to get lower. Um, 
in the pan, maybe like below an inch depth of sap, um, of, of boiling sap in that pan. When we get to that point, we bring the sap inside onto a pot on the stove and we keep a very close eye on it. We finish boiling here. Um, your goal is to end up seven degrees above um, where water would boil for your altitude. Um, you can simply check that by boiling some water and um, using a thermometer and seeing what the temperature is. It varies by your altitude. Um, so when we get close, we also have a hydrometer um, which checks density. And on that hydrometer, there's a couple level readings. One is if your syrup is cold, where that should float. One is if the syrup is hot, where it should float, if you're at the right density, if you're at the right concentration of sugar. Over the past four seasons, what we have gained cannot be put in a jar and stored on the shelf. Checking buckets outside on a busy, busy evening filled with activities and chores. On an evening when we would normally stay inside, we are outside checking to see what the trees gave us that day. When our girls get off the bus, they grab their tablets and a snack. When I get ready to go outside and gather sap, they turn off their screens and ask to go. I don't have to prompt them to do this. They want to. My two little girls that sometimes fight and get on each other's nerves work as a team to empty an almost full bucket. Our dogs who are bored from the day of us being away at work and school get to go outside and play. It amazes me every year. There's all that natural sweetness just there, feeding the tree, but we can take a little and not hurt a thing. It feels like we are meant to do this. The food that is in our backyard is meant to feed our bodies and souls. I am grateful for the harvest and the time with my family.